Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill. Get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today we're doing a really funky and kind of healthy pizza recipe. Um, in fact, it's endorsed by Weight Watchers in the UK. This recipe request came through from Ralph from Atlanta, who actually two weeks ago was in the UK. So hi Ralph, why didn't you come say hi? Um, he went into this restaurant called Pizza Express, where they do a pizza, and basically it's got an outer ring and they've cut the middle out of the base, and in the middle of the base is some salad. So it's really simple. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need. Hit pause on the video and write them all down. And I'm gonna do a sort of barbecue chicken bacon version with a simple salad in the middle and some balsamic dressing. So yeah, I've got a little bit of homemade balsamic dressing and some salad, which I've literally just bought from the shop. Okay, easy. Some light mozzarella cheese, if you can get light, it's a little bit better for you, makes it healthier. Uh, I've got some chopped parsley there, some chicken, this is that pre-cooked chicken stuff you can buy from the shops. A yellow pepper which I've sliced and a red onion which I've just sort of sliced thinly, it's only about half a red onion there. And a little bit of bacon. So I'm using a barbecue sauce, just a standard barbecue sauce you'd get in a shop as a base. But you know, you can mix up anything you want, tomato sauce, um, maybe like a lemon and lime sort of zesty thing, anything you want. It's, it's your pizza. Make it your own. So the first thing I've done is made the pizza dough and it's actually behind me now doing its thing. This is what I did. Okay, so we start by grabbing ourselves a mixing bowl and some pizza base mix. Shove that in your bowl. Top this up with some lukewarm water. And start to hack away with it with your fork. And this is going to merge the dough together and it'll save getting your fingers all icky. Once that's there, get your hands in and make that dough into dough. You know what I'm saying? Dough. That's right. Okay, so with some flour on the chopping board, just plonk your dough down there, roll it out, get it all nice and coated in the flour, roll it out into a nice circular pizza shape. We're not going to cut the hole in the middle yet, but just do your best. So with your pizza rolled out, now you want to go and put it away for about 15 to 20 minutes in a nice warm area, and then you can look at the flowery mess you've made. Okay then guys, so that is exactly what I did with my pizza base. Easy peasy, mix the dough and the water together. The water's gotta be nice and lukewarm. Roll it all out. You can saw I wasn't the best at rolling out, so anyone can do that. And I put it in a nice warm room there because that is right by the baller because it's gonna help to expand it. Then we're gonna make the little disc in the middle. This recipe is idiot proof. Okay, so I've got loads of time to kill with this recipe. It is ridiculously easy. So one thing I have just done is wash my salad from the bag in the supermarket, because you should always do that. There was a story actually in the paper the other day about a woman that bought that salad and uh, she found a frog in there and it was still alive and she kept it as a pet. Random story. Uh, yeah, anyhow, so this is the salad we've got. I've given it a little bit of a wash, as you can see. I'm getting my balsamic dressing. I'm actually gonna just pour half on a little bit. Oh, here it comes. Do -do 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 -do. I made that a little bit too thick, that one anyway. So I'm just getting myself a little metal spoon. I'm just gonna stir it around just to coat it, okay? So it's completely up to you. Any type of dressing you want. Homemade dressings are the best, but it's completely up to you. Just buy some from a supermarket if you want. Maybe some sweet chili dressing would go good with that. Maybe thinking about it, I should have done that. Hmm, anyhow. So let's just mix this all in. And then I'm gonna plonk it in the fridge to keep that salad all nice and fresh while we wait for the base. The base. Okay, I've just got my pizza base out, it's looking good. And what I've done is actually just given it a little courtesy wipe to get a bit more of that excess flour off. Look, if I just do that, look, it's scattering over there. It's all good, I'm gonna have to clean it up later or I'm gonna get in trouble. Easy peasy. Right, so to make the circle bit in there, as you can see, my pizza isn't a complete circle, but I'm gonna do my best. I wasn't really that good at shapes at school. Anyhow, I'm just, I was originally gonna grab myself a ramekin dish, plonk it there, but I made me think that that circle isn't gonna be big enough. So Phoebe has got this funky pink dish and there's actually an outer lip on it that's a little larger. So if I just press down lightly where I think roughly is the center, duh, 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 duh. I have pressed down, hopefully you can see that. i just lift that up, boom. So all I'm gonna do now is get a knife and trim around that, let's do that. Okay, brilliant, so I've taken out the center bit. In fact, if I wanted to, I could make a little pizza with this bit and then cut the middle out of that and then keep going. Like one of those little doll things. That would have been kind of cool, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyhow, so what I'm gonna do first of all, like any other pizza, is get it on to wherever. Actually, looking at it, that looks a little bit like the seat that you'd sit on when you're going to the toilet. Ah, right, we're gonna get it on to our surface, our like baking tray that we're gonna use to put it in the oven and then we're gonna start to dress it. So uh, get it on something nice, yeah? That you, you're happy with putting it in the oven with, with 
with. Okay, unfortunately, I haven't got a baking tray big enough, so I've actually got my grill and custom made some sort of foil thing to hold it together, but if you're catchy, you might see that I've got a little lip hanging out there. It's okay, it'll be fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a little bit of my barbecue sauce and just spray little bits like that, like that, little sections, cool. And then just smear it with the back of my spoon so you can make it as saucy or unsaucy as you like. Okay, so I've finished smearing that sauce all around there. Now it's time to get our toppings on. So there's no real procedure for this. Just go and scatter it. I'm going to start with uh, my chicken. Yeah, so just finishing putting my chicken on. Just spreading it all around. It's all good. It's all good. Now let's go for some peppers. Okay, so I've got this plate with yellow peppers and onions on. I've already started putting the peppers on, as you can see. Just scatter them all around. Initially, you know, you can do any funky design you want on it. You could make a face or you could even make a toilet pizza if you wanted to do that. So just make sure you've got a nice even coverage. And then I'm just going to literally start plonking on my chopped onions as well. Just rad radically plonk them on there. Okay, if I just step away there, you'll see that I've added on the bacon. I've got a few more bacon strips to go. Bacon strips, bacon strips, bacon strips. I'm loving the look of it. It's really, really cool. Um, all I'm going to do now is add on my cheese, like so. You can go completely cheese heaven on it and dump a load on there, or just mildly scatter it, which I'm probably going to do, and then finish it with some parsley. Good times. Okay, so I've only got a small amount of cheese. I'm just scattering it very, very lightly. I don't want to make it too cheesy. I don't know why. I'm not in a mood for too cheesy a pizza. I just want to make it, you know, kind of flashy, kind of posh, okay? Just a very light scattering. If you get any cheese in the middle there, you want to scoop it out because you really don't want it bonding to the inner ring. The inner ring. Okay, so a teeny bit of chopped parsley. Just like rain that on there like that. Just scatter it. It's all good. And what I might do is reserve a little bit just for the end when it comes out. We'll probably drench a little bit on there. Obviously, you're going to get that salad and balsamic kick within it. So let's get it in the oven now. That is it done. Okay then guys, we're ready to get this in the oven now. Check it out, it's so colourful and funky. I'm loving it. So we're gonna get it in there. About 20 minutes or so on a top shelf. Spin it round halfway through. Keep your eye on it, it might take less than that, okay? But you just wanna get it nice and golden brown, that cheese all melted, everything cooked, especially bacon. And uh, then we're gonna eat it with our salad. Toilet pizza! It's been 20 minutes. I've turned it around halfway through. It's all golden brown. It smells amazing in here. I just went upstairs to go to the toilet and came back down. In fact, you probably didn't need to know that. I came back down, I did wash my hands, and the smell just went boom. It hit me. Uh, I can't wait to get it out. I love barbecue pizzas, so this is going to be pretty much heaven for me. I've got the chopping board there. I've wiped it down all nice and clean. I've got the pizza cutter there, because that's how we're going to serve it on the chopping board with our salad in the middle, maybe a little bit more um, herbs on the top, and also a teeny bit more balsamic dressing. So uh, let's get it out, shall we? Holy schmoly, take a look at that. Amazing. Okay, so there it is on there. Not the most amazing circle, but it's still amazing. I'm gonna eat you, I am gonna eat you. So, I'm just gonna be naughty. I'm gonna grab my salad with my hands like so. It's actually nice and drenched. So we're just gonna fill up that hole in the middle with our salad, just scour it all around, nice. It's actually got a fairly decent coating of the balsamic on there, so it's all good. That is that there. Let's get our herbs as well. So these are the natural ones, uncooked. Just sprinkle those on the top as well. A little scattering all around, do, 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 do. and just maybe to ease that balsamic flavour on there, let's just grab a teeny bit more of the dressing and just ease it. Maybe like work it up and down the pizza a little bit like that. And that, my friends, is our pizza with a hole in the middle, all done. Okay then guys, this dish is amazing. I've got my funky pizza plate ready, I've got it all here. Remember on the salad, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, even fruit salad, maybe put some cherry tomatoes on there, it's all good, any way you want. So I'm just gonna grab a pizza cutter like this, and just get a chunk out. I'm just gonna like grab it like this while you're here, maybe a little bit of salad of these on top, proper messy food this, and go, um, oh my God, that is amazing. Go, if I can make that, Absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again next time. I love this. So will you.